Okay, let's take a look at the family garden today. This is doing okay. That side is doing so much better than this side, which is super funny because it gets almost the same amount of sun. This side gets a little bit less, but really not too much. One thing that does happen is from this side of our house, the water drains across our backyard this way and out through here. So maybe it just gets more water, but um, yeah, it's super funny. So we kind of have the garden set up symmetrically. So I've got a row of potatoes here. Um, I had some flowers going on them. <gasps> Look at this guy. Do you guys even know these potato bugs existed? Until I gardened, I'd never even seen one. Look at this one's eating. Can you see him? Literally munching on a leaf as I sit here and watch. Dude. Hang on, I gotta kill him. I can't let him. So they're trying to decimate my potato leaves. Ugh. So then I've got potatoes all down this side. And if you look on the other side of the garden, all the way to the end, those really tall ones over there, those are all potatoes too. <laughs> This is volunteer dill. I can't kill the volunteers. It just I just let them live here. Um, and then toward the back of the garden, we have got our squash plants. So here, <laughs> look at that baby squash. And over here, holy cow, one, two, and then there's like these double ones over here. They're super funny. Two, four. Um, these two are called slick pick. They're from Haas Tools. And they are yellow squash. And then for some reason, I thought it'd be a great idea to put a pumpkin behind them. Um, so this is a pumpkin and I am growing them up these sticks. So it, it's harder to tell on these ones, but squash actually, even though they grow along the ground, have a big main stem. Can you see that guy? So if you keep tying it up, <clears throat> it'll keep your plants off the ground and keep them from you know, like fungal rot and diseases and things and it keeps the bugs off them too so two slick picks a pumpkin because i'm crazy and then look at this gigantic guy like he's just monstrous like he's um this is how his leaves look this is an eight ball squash and i bet you i've got a couple you see it down there <laughs> isn't he cute it's called eight ball because he turns into, you know, like an eight ball. There's a couple. Um, we did this last year, very prolific. We got tons of them and they work really good for stuffing. You can scoop all the meat out, cook it and stuff, put it back in and put them back in the oven and stuff them. They work really good. This is a winter squash. I think it's King, Acorn King. I don't know which couple I'm all right. It's some kind of acorn squash. And then I've got beans. So I've got this row of beans right here. They're kind of like half half whatever they are dragon tongue they didn't do a super good job I'm a little disappointed and then here these are actually sugar baby pumpkins or sugar baby watermelons and then over on the end over there are melons queen Anne's, i think maybe right here in the middle oh isn't that pretty that is bright lights charred look at all the different color stems isn't that neat so pretty. Some zinnia. It was bright yellow. Just gorgeous. Um, and then back here, this squash. I don't think I have any on it yet. This is a spaghetti squash. Here he goes. Here he goes. All the way out here. No. Nope. This is a spaghetti squash. I will always have spaghetti squash in my garden. He'll go out this way. And this back row of beans, these are all Tanya's pink potted beans. They will end up with pink flowers. There's a couple, you can kind of see. And uh, apparently the beans are pink as well. So we'll see, they're for Ava. She likes different pink things. Beans over here, fantastic. They're either gold rush or gold mine. I don't know which one. I'm super amused by this one that seems to be vining. They're bush beans, but this guy does not seem to have gotten the message. Those are for my Boucha, who makes butter bean soup. So I will harvest those for her. Usually twice I can get two harvests out of them. Down this way. And then I got to my sticks is going crazy here. Hang on, there we go. These are more of the watermelons. 
and the melons. This side over here is midget melon. And what I do is I kind of tie them up to, I kind of backed up so you can kind of see, tie them up to these. And then I'll kind of wind them around there just to get them off the ground a little bit. They're not going to be all the way up there. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, that's just the best that I can do. These ones right here are more of the sugar baby watermelons. And then up in the front, I have a whole bunch of volunteer potatoes. Uh, I let my kids harvest potatoes last year, and I think it is safe to say that they have missed a couple. And apparently they made it through the winter and they're gonna grow this year. Over here, this back corner of squash is so sad. So that plant died on that thing, and then I've planted some more seeds. I have no idea what they are. Ditto here, that plant died. I put some more seeds in the ground. Got more coming up, don't know what it is. <gasps> Same thing here. And here, everything died. But I got one that stayed alive on this side. And this is also an acorn squash for winter. And it's either table queen or table king, whatever the other one is not. And then all down the back row here are carrots. And I don't, <laughs> I don't thin my carrots a lot. You can kind of tell they're really, really, really thickly in here. Um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to give them about two weeks. And then I'm going to go through and pick clumps of them and use them as baby carrots. I've got a 20 foot row. And then once I use the baby carrots, I will, um, let the other ones go a little longer and let them get bigger. I think these are Envy carrots. I don't remember, they are definitely orange carrots because I did put some purple ones up in the front. I'm kind of up by the potatoes there. There's purple carrots for Ava. And then the wall of oh, sunflowers is looking super good. I bought this netting this year to tie up. Um, so I'm just taking little bits of twine or jute, whatever I got hanging around, and I'm tying them loosely up to that so they don't fall over this year. That was a big problem last year, they got fallen over. So these are, the top row are all sunflowers. And then as you get lower, the zinnias are starting to pop out. And here are the coneflower babies. I love these coneflowers so much. I bet you there's a hundred blossoms right here, ready to go. Just look at them all. Look at them. like 20 of them right here. These are gonna be gorgeous. And these, when they come out, almost most of the season they'll last. They'll get a little dry looking and brittle looking, but their color kind of stays. Oh, they're just so pretty. So, oh, here's a whole bunch of zinnias. These ones are coming out early. So I'll have sunflowers on top, zinnias in the understory, and all of these dudes all... Well, there's no bees out. They must know it's going to storm still. And they lead right up to our back porch, so... Sunflower garden. Shoop. Big family garden. Right here. And here is Mason's little bitty garden. Um, he has got these beans up here. And I forget what kind they're. I think they're like a red and white bean. They're meant to be used as a dried bean. I forget the name of them. He just really wanted a bean teepee. So he's got a bean teepee going. And the rest of these are all sugar baby bush watermelon. He wanted a watermelon garden. So we may end up with a whole bunch of watermelon if they work, or maybe none at all. And then these dudes. I put these here for pollinators. These are called a vanilla marigold. I did go to buy these at our local nursery because I was walking past and couldn't stop myself. So they're super, super pretty. I've never seen that color before. So I also put them in the front of our garden and uh, I plan on saving the seeds from them. So this is the big garden, end of June. Those sunflowers will touch the top of that fence. Oh, do you see up there those, <laughs> these right here? Those are beans from the other side growing over. They're going to grow up our lights. That'll be so fun. Okay, end of June, family garden, to be continued. <laughs>